As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Tuesday. If at all you're just joining us, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko, and of course, it is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Today is all about matters concerning entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship. And in this particular conversation, we want to talk about fashionpreneurship in Kenya. That's right. Fashionpreneurship in Kenya. And of course, the hashtag as always is Y in the morning at Ramaguko. And that Y254 channel is where you can be able to find us. Engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from. And I shall sample your feedback a bit later on during this morning conversation right here on Y in the morning. And uh, joining me in studio to talk about this particular issue is uh, Felix Waro. He is a fashionpreneur and founder of Pinnacle Garments. Karibu sana, Felix. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm good. Looking sharp. Even you. That is your... You are a pinnacle. You are a pinnacle. You are a pinnacle. But even you, you seem... You look like a designer, though. You have, you have, you have ah. color blended your outfit very well. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should join your industry. Sure, sure. Uh, I don't but you must first of all pass from me. I teach you <laughs> <laughs> the norms of fashion. What is Pinnacle Garments all about? Pinnacle Garments is all about uh, custom-made products. Actually, we are dealing with uh, custom-made outfits, mm. which basically we deal with gents and women's wear. Whereby, okay. like, we customize our outfits from scratch. Are you talking about suits? Yeah, suits. Specifically? Not, not basically suits, mm. even real dresses, and uh -huh. even some other outfits. So that's why we are known as pinnacle garments. Pinnacles mm. actually is not a limitation of whether it's a suit or a dress. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So um, can it be, uh, how, how diverse um, are your garments? Uh, you know, how, what are the different uh, uh, types of styles that you, 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 you do? Okay, actually, we got a varieties of styes mm. because actually it will depend with our clients. Mm. When a client walks in, what it tells us, or the way it will depend the functionality where mm. he's going to. Mm. For example, he's going in a wedding. You, you won't give him a suit that suits a corporate image. Mm. Yeah, or maybe he's a person who is like a, a polit not even a politician. Let me say a musician. Mm. You won't give him a, a corporate suit. Mm -hmm. So it will depends on the personality of a client. So yeah. African way is still there? Yeah, still even, the even is still there. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, 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 what, what is it? So, so you, you, you do not have a particular uh, style? Yeah, What yeah. you do, you are... But our major, our major area of specialization, mm -hmm. we actually major in suits so much. That's our major, our main area of specialization. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, so um, let's get to know who Felix is yeah. first before we get into the nitty gritties. Yeah, who you. is Felix uh, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, um, how can we uh, picture you uh, as a person? Who is Felix Awaro? Okay, Felix Awaro is like a Kenyan, first of all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a fashionpreneur in Kenya mm -hmm. uh, who, who actually have studied fashion and design and actually had got an idea of how to craft an, a piece of an outfit. So I'm just like a fashion designer, like mm -hmm. the normal fashion designers in Kenya, mm -hmm. who actually have studied it and I know the heart that's being required in fashion. So this is something you've gone to school, you've yeah, done I and you're doing as a career. Yeah, like a career. Yeah, you know, like but someone it's more who of a passion also. Ah. Yeah. I began it way back when I was still young. You're not like someone who got a tech nation and decided, um, oh, you know what? No. I will be a tailor. No. When it comes to creativity, you must go to school. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's some little bit of details you must learn from school. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and, and now, um, for someone like me, yeah, I'm afraid of tailors. Yeah. Um, uh, and 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 I'm afraid of of uh, going to somebody to tell them, you know what, this is the picture I want. And many Kenyans have seen this, yeah. where you go to somebody, and then you tell them that this is what I want. But the picture you get is totally okay. different. Okay. Um, um, how, what is always the problem here? Because it makes someone like me to, to, to now go persona. And you're <laughs> like, what? We, we don't know how it will come out. What is always the problem here? Okay, the problem first of all comes with uh, between the tailor and the client. First of all, they, they are now began about communication. Mm. How have you related with your tailor? How have you gone to your tailor? So, for example, when you come to me or when you come to our premise of work, 
you first of all guide our clients on what will suit them mm. and how those outfit will work best for them okay yeah you can't come uh to our office and then like you tell us you need a a yellow suit maybe maybe st- color scheming may work also with the body size mm. so you can just not just come to us and tell us hey i need a yellow suit we'll first of all advise you we can go through the way that suit will look to whether, you. whether it fits your body yeah, structure yeah your body structure yeah, sure, okay, sure. okay so yeah. um so where, where the problems comes in uh, you go to a tailor definitely no one no one doesn't love money when you're in entrepreneurship <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you need a suit we all love money yeah we all love money yeah. but what we see is not what we get so that's what i'm telling you uh, these people love money but there's some people love their business like a person like me i love mm. my business mm. that's why each and every day i keep on guiding my clients on what they should wear and the way the outfit should look like mm-hmm. yeah so let's talk about that aspect of guiding your clients for those who are watching you today I, I, I want us to get into the mind of a fashion preneur uh, what do you look at yeah. the first thing when someone enters your your store and you see them what are those things that you pick out from that person that uh, 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 that uh, inform the decision that you're going to make about the style and the kind of attire they're going to put on plus the fabric okay first impressions uh, when a client walks in mm. we look at the body actually the body of somebody like the body structure how is the body structure is mm. that one first of all give us the first impression of like what should you dress mm-hmm. after that one now we look at the occasion where are you heading to or which type of occupation are you in is when now we'll now come to our judgmental that like this outfit a navy blue suit or a gray suit will work for your occasion very nicely mm-hmm. yeah and, and do you have colors that um, you don't recommend for certain skin types mm, it depends there's some people who are bold there's some people who are bold they're light skin but they're bold enough to wear even more bright colors that mm-hmm. even those people were not bold enough mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. So it's what do you mean when you say bold? Bold, bold that, means somebody who has confidence with himself or character. Yeah, character. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So um, you guess the character of somebody for you to say, you know what, this is what goes for you. This doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because at the end of the day, if you have gone to a fashion school, you'll be taught about body sizes, and then even the plus size, the normal sizes. Because at the end of the day, for you to dress that person, if you give somebody who is more big or plus size mm. a screaming outfit it's going to make him to be much bigger than the way he is even there's some 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 like some fabrics which are like more print type brighter print type mm. we are not, actually can't recommend to our clients who are much bigger okay yeah. okay um how would you say um fashion entrepreneurship in kenya is at the moment um is it a lucrative um field is this something that someone um, um can go for uh, and of course you're in there uh, even as you as you talk about that some of the challenges you have faced uh, when it comes to this particular industry okay mm. okay actually fashion preneur in kenya at the moment we are picking mm-hmm. we are getting to those levels that we are looking at like the countries like us the way fashion designers are in the, the life that they are living mm. we are getting into there mm. but actually the major challenges that at the moment you are still facing are uh, ready made outfits mm-hmm. ready made outfits because somebody feels like going for a ready made it's quite time consuming than coming to make to make a new outfit because for you to come to make to make a new outfit from us you must first of all book an appointment Actually, is going for to 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 a tailor is time consuming than regular. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Time consuming to mm. actually, yeah, mm. sure. Mm. So for you to come to us, we must first of all look at what you want. We must take your measurements, guide you, give you a date. Since that we have some other orders with us, so maybe time consuming. The major challenge that we are actually facing as fashion preneurs is like ready-made outfits. Can, can you pick um <laughs> is it possible for you to know an outfit that is ready made yeah as a person yeah is this one ready made or tailor made uh huh. i know i've put you on the spot there <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, you you ready made. is this ready made or it's ready tailor? made yeah you're sure sure you're sure yeah 
I'm giving one chance to change your mind. It, I'm sure. What informs that decision? Uh, there's some more details that actually you as a client will never say, but mm. me as a tailor, uh. I will definitely say. If you look at my suit, uh. the some of the craftsmanship that I've done in it, like even if you see the lapel, uh -huh. it's kind of broader than yours. It's kind of broader than yours because that means that now my mind is more personal styling. I've styled it for myself. Okay. Yeah, it's basically precise for me. Uh -huh. But you know, ready-made are made in terms of sizes. So you just go there, you tell them your size, and then you're being given the one that suits you. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, I love that. You have a keen eye. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You have a keen eye. Um, uh, what are so some of those things that you um, have helped you to jump through the hoops and these challenges that you face uh, uh, as a fashion venue? Okay, number one, I'm not... Actually, I first of all came from another brand. I've worked for some brands. Mm. Like if you look like a brand like Bespoke City, mm. I hope majority of you have heard about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, Bespoke mm -hmm. City, I've worked for Bespoke City. So there is where like I gain a lot of mileage mm. in terms of like the industry. How like I should manage my business. I should scale my business in terms mm -hmm. of like the kind of the kind of environment that I am in or that I'm trying to engage in. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So, so you, you've, you've, you've been in the industry before? Yeah, and, uh, I've been nurtured by someone. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I've been nurtured by someone. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, uh, other things that have uh, enabled you to jump through these hoops? Uh, basically education, because education actually it's the, like, uh, the breakthrough of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you know it right, you'll never go wrong mm -hmm. in terms of education. Mm -hmm. Because education, for you to get into uh, entrepreneurship, you must know the aesthetics of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. The way to maneuver the streets, the way to scale your business, the way to expand your business at which time or at which interval when mm -hmm. your business needs that opportunity mm -hmm. or when your business have reached that opportunities of scaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, let's talk about shopping because you mentioned yeah. that uh, um, uh, one challenge is the aspect of having ready-made suits and attires. Yet at the same time, you want people to come and so that you can yeah, make yeah, and sure, customize sure. it for them. Um, um, when it comes to shopping, because I'm aware that one of the, those things that uh, you do at uh, Pinnacle is about personal shopping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, you help people in when it comes to personal shopping yeah. and, uh, and 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 even doing them. What's it called? Um, wardrobe uh, styling. Styling. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. makeover. Yeah, and makeovers. Yeah. yeah That's sure. what I'm looking for. Wardrobe makeover. Um, what are some of the, those tips that uh, you can give? Just to mention, but a few that helped in this particular area. Okay. In terms of like uh, like shopping. Mm -hmm. Now shopping, we have some of our clients yeah. that doesn't have that time mm. of going to shop or of or, or even of getting to a mall to buy a, a purchase an outfit. Mm -hmm. Mainly reason may be. They may be having different reason in terms of even styling. They doesn't know their taste, mm. or they're not good in styling. But majority of them doesn't have that time. So we go shopping for them. We look at what they want, where they want to go to, in terms of occasion or in terms of occupation. We look at and then like we guide them in terms of like what we can shop for them. So that one is one. And then two in terms of like personal wardrobe. Personal wardrobe now entails. Arranging your wardrobe in terms of like a good manner or in a presentable way. For example, like if on Monday to Friday you're always at work, how should your wardrobe look like? Mm. Yeah, according to your job. Mm -hmm. And then weekend you're always like a person who is more outgoing. How should your wardrobe look like? So we arrange for you your wardrobe in terms of like scheming in terms of like where are you going to be in terms of like days or occupation uh -huh, yeah uh -huh. so, so so but then how are you able to um uh, counter the challenge of having ready-made yet at the same time you help in sh in in doing shopping yeah. doesn't that um you know coincide with the, your vision as a pinnacle okay okay basically like a like 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 pinnacle mm. that's why we are a brand that like actually we are versatile but more, more so far, our, our main idea, mm. it's all about bespoke. Bespoke crafted outfit from our clients. But mm. we have also clients that we must reach their needs mm. in terms of like 
the way they put on. But even shopping doesn't entail that we should go for to the mall to shop for them. Mm. We can shop for them even from our shops. Yeah, even that okay. one is also okay because we do make even shorts for weekend or even uh, shirts, even tannic sets, which actually right now is common because we are in uh, winter, summer season. Yeah. Is, is, is there time that you, you, you get uh, ready-made clothes for clients? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, I can't lie with that. Sometimes yeah. we do get ready-made for them yeah. because maybe they need a jeans or because of their time. Maybe mm -hmm. they are our, our, our clients that we have built for something like a, a year. Mm -hmm. So they need something to go for a slightly like over the weekend. So, so if, 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 even though you know, you know what, um, we would like to customize your suit, yeah. but because of time, we can advise you. Yeah, we can advise you to, what to, to get to, this yeah, ready yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Or for example, like we want to blend for our clients, it's outfit. Maybe you need something like a smart casual over the weekend. Mm. So maybe you'll need our blazers and even our shirts. So maybe at, at the interval time that mm. he has given us, we can't be able to produce for him a good khaki pant mm. or a good khaki short or even a jeans. So we decide to go to shopping for them. Mm. So yeah. someone like me, I, I'm, I'm so poor when it comes to casual clothes yeah i don't know how to put them on yeah <laughs> and, I, I, and i only have that kawan jeans in the order of that yeah you know i i put on during the weekends when i'm done it's on a monday and i'm back to my suits. Yeah, back to your suits yeah so 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 um i i, I how would you advise me someone like me let's uh, uh, uh do, do a, a mock oh, okay 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 thank <laughs> uh, you someone like me when you um I, I only i'm from monday to friday i'm in a suit yeah uh sunday of course i'm in a suit some saturdays i'm in a suit uh so the only day that uh, maybe i am not in a suit is on some particular saturdays that i'm uh, I'm, I'm at home okay on saturdays only but you, are you always going out on saturdays Sometimes, yes. Yeah, okay. if Actually, you're... most most of the times, yes, I, 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 I go out. But now the place that I go to, some need suits. Okay. Mm -hmm. So over the weekend, mostly, the way we always advise our clients, yes, it's all about you being you. First of all, being you, it's like everything. Because at the end of the day, how are you going to feel mm -hmm. if you wear this outfit? Mm -hmm. For example, like over the weekend, we always advise our clients to put on all like two practice the norm of wearing tannic set which are mm. like known as africans mm. yeah tannic sets are oh, quite yeah yeah okay. are quite easy you, yeah. yeah are quite easy for for you to maneuver or mm. even for are flexible in terms of like even breathing space in terms of even like you feeling comfortable with them mm -hmm. yeah mm. All right. All right. or even smart casual smart casual you can crack in your khaki pant or a jeans that you want jeans mm which like you believe it's the best for you uh, that one jeans is the best <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that one jeans of viewers which you feel we, we ride together we die together yeah yeah sure sure <laughs> so that one you can crack it with a little bit of a penny loafers mm -hmm. with a penny loafers with a, a jeans and a, a good polo shirt with a blazer a casual blazer you do have casual blazer and official blazers uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you, you get some loafers. Yeah. Uh, that jeans. Yeah. And 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 the shirt. What type of shirt? There? Uh, polo shirt. Polo. Yeah, polo shirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If he doesn't want to go with the norm of wearing smart casual wear, but you break your 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 tannic set, a mm. shirt, African mm. shirt, a printed shirt with a with its pant, or even you can wear with it with a a jeans. Because I always find myself putting on black shoes and jeans. Yeah, black shoes and jeans. Is that a fashion disaster? I think I think I think you should look for me. I should look for you. <laughs> yeah, you should look for me. Definitely you should look for me. What are some of those common mistakes most people who are in fashion entrepreneurship always make uh, that you've seen so far? Okay, the major mistake that we fashion designers or fashion entrepreneurs we always make mm. running for money than loving your work. Definitely, if you want to be the best fashion designer, mm. you must first of all love your work. You must look at the cuts of your suit. The cuts of your outfit, detailed, precisely made in terms of like quality assurance. Yeah, so most of us, we do love money, which are in fashion, but he doesn't love to be or pay commitment in fashion. Mm, yeah, mm, we go for the money. Yeah, you go for the money. That's and, why, and, like, and not, not, not the customer satisfaction. Yeah, not the customer, yeah, sure. Yeah, not the customer satisfaction. So you'll find somebody promising you that like tomorrow you'll get your outfit, yet he definitely knows he won't deliver. So as a pinnacle garments, our major 
area of focus. That's why like each and every day we keep on growing is we do focus on our customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, we give them A1. Ah. A1 of our product, yeah. And 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 and, and uh, if if you, you you look at um um somebody and then you, you you do a great job with that person. Um see so you should be taking like the photos and then you yeah, you, you that will depend. It will depend with the type of client that you're having. Maybe you have somebody who is like more of a low-key client, mm. or first of all, like as majorly you are dealing with a corporate, corporate clients. Corporate okay. clients is somebody like after giving him a suit, mm. you will never see that suit. Even on a picture, you never see him posting anywhere. After you've given him, he's going to wear it or he'll be going with it to his workplace. Without even you still having, yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, okay, I, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. Okay. Uh, I have so many questions about about fashion because I love suits. <laughs> Thank uh, but you. But let me come to the women, yeah. uh, to the ladies, because I know they're also, I, I don't want to appear to be... Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so let's talk about the ladies. Yeah. Um, some of those tips that you'd like to give uh, that lady out there who is trying to, uh, you know, get that attire that best suits them. Because for many ladies or many women, they go through that process every single day where they are stuck, staring at this wardrobe, and they have no idea what to put on. And they take hours and hours trying to figure out what do I put on. One lady told me yesterday yeah. that she has to feel. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, she must have the feeling. Yeah, the feeling. Yeah, sure. I did not understand that completely, but talk to us about that. Okay, okay, okay. For for personal styling, what I can advise somebody, like yeah. for example, tomorrow. Let me say, for example, tomorrow you're having an interview. You must get prepared in advance. Mm. That that will give you at least a confidence of even wearing that outfit. You may be having a feeling, but maybe that outfit is not more impressive. Mm -hmm. You wear it, like for example, like me, for me to go somewhere or for me to tend my duties over the day, I do put my outfit on check over the night. So, so okay, okay, so the, the night before, you check yeah, the outfit? Yeah, I check, I check the outfit. Where am I going tomorrow? Is it more of a official meeting? Mm -hmm. Which type of suit should I look at? I should look at the navy colors, the gray colors, and even the, the more or less of, of the the beige, more official colors. Let me so, talk about the official Monastia. colors. Yeah. So don't get stuck at the wardrobe, staring at the wardrobe for long. Yeah. The fashion venue is advising you, take uh, heed of the event, yeah. what event it is, the theme color. Yeah, the theme color. No, no, uh -huh. not the theme color, more, uh, actually, the, uh -huh. the occasion where you're heading to. If it's okay. more of official occasion, mm -hmm. you must put on official outfit for you to show your confidence and even what you're doing or, or why have you been invited to such a question? Because right. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. for you to get in, into official meeting, mm -hmm. for you for, for the corporate or for anyone to get you serious, they must see you looking sharp and even more seriously than even them. Mm. Do, yeah. do you think Kenyans value um, this kind of industry? Do Kenyans value the work that men and women like you do? Yeah, actually, actually, right at the moment, we're getting kind of positive feedback because mm. people now have begun to accept right. fashion as a as a job mm. yeah all right yeah people have begun accepting fashion as a job mm. and uh, the some of the uh, some of the people let me let me say there is a percentage of people who doesn't mm. believe that fashion of all or custom made products do mm. exist because of some of their frustration from somewhere mm. or mm. they were frustrated somewhere but i would love to advise them today mm. when they get somebody who is doing his work professionally they will never regret they will love fashion for the rest of their life. Felix, thank you so much for coming. And thank you so much. I, I thank appreciate you so much. You so much thank yeah. you so much. Sir. I wish you the best. How can people find you on social, on social media? Okay, Pinnacle Garments, it's, all, it's in all social media platforms. Uh, it, uh, it's Pinnacle underscore garments. All right. Yeah. Asanda, Asanda. Thank yeah. you for coming. I appreciate it. I, I wish you the best. As I said earlier on, maybe one day you'll make me also a suit. Thank you. Thank you. Your pleasure. Actually, yeah. even even tomorrow. Tomorrow. When you're ready to, when you're ready, just let me know. Tutapanga. Sindio. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of this conversation. But we still have more coming up your way. This is why in the morning.